Hello viewers, nice to have you here. Today we will be talking about mindset change, mindset change, career, mindset change, career. Now it's still all about nursing. It's your girl Eunice, nursing. Welcome to nursing with Eunice. What are we saying when we what do we mean when we say mindset change? I've come to speak to a lot of people who I'm encouraging to become nurses and I've come to see that majority of them have a problem with deciding because they are just thinking, hey, but I read, I read accounting in school. Why can't I leave accounting and now become a nurse after all these years of accounting? Then we got to deep discussion and I come to realize that it's never too late. They can still be a nurse. Now, what are you doing currently? The degree you have, or maybe you've not gone to school, you have, you've learned a skill. The skill you are, you've learned, what has it brought to your table? What is it giving you right now? Are you able to attend to your needs? And happily, majority of these people I'm talking about have some money in their bank accounts. Many of them even want to migrate. They want to travel. Some even have access to loan and they are happy to to assess this, to use it to travel. Now that is where I come in. Why don't you use that opportunity and think about nursing and change that plan to, yes, I'm going to travel, but I'm going to be a nurse. And when you are traveling, how do you want to travel? For instance, let's use UK as a case scenario. You want to come to UK. Do you want to come to UK and live here legally? Of course, I'm sure you want to because for you to watch this station, you are responsible, you are a go-getter, so you love to do things legally. I'll give you the tips to migrate into the UK and living here legally. A lot of people have come to see the gold mine in traveling, coming in as a student and later coming to get the papers. But there are some things they don't realize. When you come into the UK as a student, you'll be given visa based on your years in school. If your school actually is supposed to last for one year, you may be given one year visa to stay in here for a year. And after your school, they can give you extended two years. That is if you have obeyed the rule to, to work 20 hours per week as a student. But when you analyze it, working 20 hours per week cannot really help you cope in the UK. Because housing here is sort of expensive. Food is not expensive. You can manage with food. But housing and transportation is a bit on the high side. So 20 pounds may really not be enough. And for most people coming as a student, they pay the deposits. For instance, if you're coming for a 12,000 pounds course, they may tell you pay 3,005 deposit. And when you come in, you pay the balance. So a lot of students want to work and then they want to get the money here and pay back. So you want to balance your school fees. You want to pay. You want to pay the rent for the where you are living, and then you want to pay transportation. It's really not easy, guys. And then you still want to go to work. It's really not easy, guys. But guys, when you finish your school, you get two years to work. The two years to work, guys, is not counted for you. It's just a way of you getting temporary work to really. Reimburse your, reimburse your pause. You can work as much as you want. Once you have completed your first one year, you can work as much as you want. No rule against you to work 20 hours anymore because you finished your school. But is that really why you came to the UK? You came to the UK not just to work, save money and go back home. You came here to stay. So that is why that really is not your goal. So you want to look for a job. For you to be able to stay here, you want to look for a job that will sponsor you. And guess what? If you are working, if you are looking for a job and you are not a nurse, you are not an accountant, you may be looking for a job that can pay you as high as 60,000 pounds. Oh my God, that's a staggering amount. 60,000 pounds per year, per annum. Getting such kind of a job is not easy with limited experience. It is not easy. So if you are not able to get such kind of a job, you may need to open a company to get a stay here, which is a huge sum of money. Don't want to break the bank. <laughs> then, if you cannot open a company to have a stay here, what else can you do? 
Maybe you want to marry a British citizen, but that will be fraud because your intent for marriage is falsified because you want papers. You don't want to do that in it. So you want to marry for love and not for that. But guess what? There comes nothing. If you want to have a stay legally here, if you come in as a nursing student, I'm telling you why you are why you are schooling, you can't be you can't be working as a carer somewhere under agency earning good good pay rate per hour. As soon as you are finishing your school, you are finishing passing your exams, you are you are going on the register, becoming a nurse, employers are everywhere. And guess what? There is no restriction. If your salary is 20,000, they are giving you your papers, your residency. And after five years, you are getting your citizenship. That is what nothing can do for you. You can become a British citizen in just five years. Why? Because you were smart. You think smart. You didn't just say, oh, I want to remain a lawyer. Oh, I want to remain a tailor. Oh, I want to remain a, what other profession? A caterer. Oh, I want to remain a, what other profession do we have there again? Engineer. You chose that mindset change to become a nurse. I mean, a nurse is something that is good because you are even able to take care of yourself. You understand, like I said in my first video, you understand your body. Your loved ones, you understand them. And some people are even coming here with family, with their husband, with their children. Oh, I feel for those who come with other causes because I can foresee the stress they will go through. Now, like I said earlier, when I heard this, I was shocked from an international student here in the UK. If you are coming in here as a student with, for other courses, when you finish your first year, maybe you work 20 hours, they give you another two years. The two years does not count for you. You have to finish, you have to go back to school again or your spouse goes back to school and school again for another two years. And then, then you, the total number of years of schooling, if you don't get a job, should amount to about 10 years. I told the guy, I said, are you sure of what you're saying? He said, yes, that's, what, that's my situation right now. I said, oh my God. I just talked to him. Come on, come into nursing. He said, yes, I'm coming into nursing. As soon as I finish this course, I'm coming into nursing. And that is plus one to my 1,000, isn't it? We are going to benefit, really. The world needs nurses. And being a nurse makes you a responsible person because we've got strict rules that must be adhered to. The six C's of nursing. Did I talk about it in the other video? Yeah, compassion, courage, and all of that. Have I dissected that? If I have not, I, I think I need to do a video on the six C's of nursing. It's actually very interesting. These, these are the core of nursing. These qualities must be there. Must be, a nurse must be courageous. A nurse must be caring. A nurse must be confident. A nurse must be compassionate. All the six C's needs to be there. And I tell you, the pockets will never be dry. And you always have this smile on your face. <laughs> Even when you're tired. You're tired and happy. Come on, guys. Come think about it. Be a nurse. Change that mindset towards this career. Nothing. Nothing indeed is something that you can do. If you can think about it, you can do it. And if you can do it, guess what? If you can do it, can you complete that statement? If you can think about it, you can do it. If you can do it... It can make you happy. It can give you that fulfillment that you've always sorted for. I'm a nurse. I feel fulfilled. I feel happy. And that is why I can tell you this. If you become a nurse, the money is going to you. Every dime is going to you and you alone. Plus what? Plus happiness. Come be a nurse, my darling. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel for we will be uploading more videos shortly for us to entertain ourselves at the same time educate ourselves thank you and thanks for watching i hope this helps take care and bye, -bye.